Morning, Dad. Exciting week you had again. Hope you're doing okay. I been out here this morning, Sunday morning. I cleaned up another last of my 19 gauge sheet. I uh, got a paper pattern for for the rear part of that fender. And so I'm gonna replace from about here backwards. And so I'll need to, I'm just sort of getting, I got, I have made uh, gauges for the top there. They're mostly the same. They're just some pretty subtle differences. Nothing that you probably would ever notice, but I'll try to reproduce it anyways. So basically this is just as a, there's, oh, there's no curvature front back, but there's curvature this way. And so that will give it some strength. But for now, what I'm, my plan is to do is to use this trace, cut the piece, and then trim accordingly, and then work on making that bend across the top. And I had such a hard time on that last time. Beat up my shoulders and stuff that I made myself a sort of a bender here. This is sort of a uh, cheap cheapo's uh, pipe anvil. It's just the, just got this held down, and so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get my the lip of my of my panel underneath there, and then bend it up, uh, use the leverage of the panel, and not uh, not throw up my shoulders that way. If that works well, I'm pretty sure that it'll work just fine. Uh, I'll just keep uh, I'll keep doing that until I can get uh, get the right shape. So today's job is to trim this piece up, mark mark it up, and mark where I'm gonna make my bends, and then get on a, get it on over to my my pipe anvil for for so I can make the top the bend across the top there, and then all the flanges on this on this uh, repair piece or this this fender, this is just a simple lip this. Uh, all along the edge here, it's just folded over, and then you insert inside that fold the flange that you need to uh, mate either to this cross piece here, which bolts to the inner frame or the inner uh, sill uh, down, down, down there, um, or you put in another piece that uh, that will actually then form the uh, flange to meet with that um, the A post and so because that A post comes in here on this side and mates and then gets bolted to to the A post so there's a flange that's created that way the same is also true uh, at the top you know there's just a you know three eighths three eighths maybe half inch flange that gets folded over across all the way across the top and then um, to that is spot welded the the um, drip channel. So on the rear side of this fender is the drip channel, and that's that's just a um, uh, a piece of st you know steel that's that's a um, um, spot welded across the top, and then it is spot welded to to the drip channel itself. And so it's uh, all pitted and pit it up in here and hold. Uh, it's in pretty good shape from here forward, but since I'm going to make the cut around here, I'll just probably replace all of that. And I'll make sure that all my holes line up on the, on the inner fender and they, they don't currently, there's only a few of them. For example, these, these ones here are all mismatched. Uh, there's a few up at the front that are matched and so I'll make, use that chance to make sure everything lines up. So anyways, that's sort of what's going on today. I'll bring you along and let you know how this, how this, um, this uh, homemade anvil works and um, let you know, bye. All right, I did a little trimming on this. Spent a couple, just, well, maybe not even a minute on the wheel. It's got a pretty flat lower anvil, low pressure, not much, just, but you can see it doesn't take very much to start putting crown in it. So this line right here, which you probably can't see real well, is my where the start of my bend is. Starts to 
bend over this way. So this is the section here that's going to hollow out. When I bend that, it put, pulls metal off of it, and then you end up with the hollow. So I'm pre, I'm pre, um, pre crowning it so that when it pulls the metal out, there's hopefully enough shape left to keep it from going hollow. In terms, I've only wheeled this way, so there's it's still dead flat going in that direction. So there's no no crown this way. It's only this way, and then this panel has very little crown, if any, this direction. So I probably won't do any wheeling uh, crosswise. I'll keep all my wheeling in this in this direction, which will keep the crown going in that that way. So I've marked where the bend needs to start on the back side, and then I will set up my little crown anvil or my pipe anvil again, and uh, and start making this bend over. I have to flip it over to do that. So I'll show you what it looks like after that. All right, there. So the bend looks, profiles look pretty good across there. Um, I had my little friend Leverage helping me this time, and boy, oh boy, what a difference that made. And so this didn't wreck me. Uh, looks pretty decent up on the, against the car. So now I'll start to trim up the rest. I need to figure out where all my curves are. I need to do a little practicing wiring, rolling a wired edge. And so there's a calculation that you use to how much material you need to roll it over. Basically the diameter minus the circumference minus the thickness but uh, I need just I'll practice on a, some simple pieces before I, I do that here basically the wired edge goes from about oh, here or so up and then over over to the hair and then joins up with the other side so I was successful in being able to to um, avoid getting a hole here a cavity here low spot and that looks pretty good there's almost no shape from forward to backwards there's still plenty here and i'll be be um fine tuning the the roll in here on the wheel when it's time and i'll be wheeling it in that direction to sort of create that shape but for now you can sort of see some of my my marks here those marks there are my are my fold lines, and so in some of these cases, I have a fair amount of extra material. But coming along, hello, yeah, Dad. It's been a while since I've been out here doing any videoing for you. Sorry about that. Been gone every pretty much every weekend to see Evan. It's his last season of baseball, so last spring in the sun, as they say, although it's a pretty cold sun. And so uh, it'll be sort of a change, a big change for him and for us. And so I've been working on this rear part of this fender, slowly coming into shape here. Got it. Got the top turned over. Looks okay. It's about the right. It's about the right, right curvature all the way across there. Some minor changes need to be done. I sort of made it all the way across. And, now there's a little bit of a, a hollow section down in here, but as soon as I turn, start turning this this edge here for the wired edge, that's going to pop up and it'll um, hopefully look be okay. It's a little low down in that corner. I'm going to do just a little bit of light wheeling before I start turning those over, because as soon as I turn over that flange across the top here and across the bottom here, it'll go hollow. So I need to pump that up just a little bit. So as you can see here, there's a gap. So that gap comes from the fact that this is almost dead straight as you come across the top here and then right about there, fender starts to drop. So um, you can see how much it's, it sort of separates by at that point. So I'm, my plan is to make the cut about here, just about there, that's I'm gonna base let this thing come across horizontally and then right before it starts to dip down that's when I plan to to make my cut so all of this will be off and it should and it fits pretty well if I flip it over it'll fit pretty well there so um, 
So anyways, yeah, taking this slow, there's a, there's a support rib that comes in alongside here. And so um, it's a very, very weird shape. And it's taken me for a long time to get it right. And, and here, this is sort of the, kind of what it looks like. And it's, it's got a very strange shape. It's took me a long time. This is not even a very good, uh, it, it'll be okay, but it's just not perfect. And the other, it's replacing one that was all rusted. So it fits in behind there and gives it some structure and it's, really tricky to do that up in that top corner. So anyways, I will, next thing I do here will be, I set up my wheel here last night, do a little bit of light wheeling down in here, and then I, once that, I'm happy with what that looks like, then I'll start to turn that edge over over here. And then I'll turn this part of the way. Once, and the plan is to, you know, maybe turn it a quarter of the way. And then after that, decide where my cut's gonna be, make the cut, weld it, and then continue to turn over that edge. Because so, depending on how it goes, you can actually push the, the, body, the body there of that, um, that fender in and out by stretching the edge that you're turning over. You don't really know how much you need to stretch until, it's, until you start to turn it and whether this thing, you know, it bows out or uh, if it, you know, scoop pooches out, then you need to stretch it. But anyways, that's coming along quite slowly. Uh, but, um, you know, you know, what is it? It's the 24th of March today. And so it's been, I know, a few weeks since I've uh, done anything. But baseball is done at the end of April, so done forever. So anyways, that, that's what I'm up to. And uh, we'll eventually get back to this and... And I'm hoping I can get to do a little bit some of this stuff next week, but uh, time will tell. Anyways, just wanted to give you an update. That's where I'm at. Take care. Bye.